The Megazyme Totalum Free Sulfite Assay Kit is suitable for the specific measurement of both total sulfite and free sulfite, especially in wines, beverages and foodstuffs. This kit is suitable for performing 40 assays of each test in a manual spectrophotometer format or 400 assays of each test in an auto analyzer or microplate format. As delivered the kit should contain one instruction booklet, one bottle of total sulfite reagent 1, one bottle of total sulfite reagent 2, one bottle of free sulfite reagent 1, one bottle of free sulfite reagent 2 and one bottle of sulfite standard. The total sulfite reagent 1 and 2 and the free sulfite reagent 1 and 2 should be used as supplied. The sulfite standard is supplied as a powder and is used for the preparation of the total sulfite and free sulfite standards and calibration curves. The principle of the Megazyme free sulfite measurement procedure is shown in this slide. Colour development in the reaction solution is generated upon mixing samples containing free sulphite with reagent 1 and reagent 2. This assay is based on the reaction between sulphide, fuchsin and aldehyde. For each batch of samples that are applied to the determination of free sulphite, either a single point free sulphite standard or a free sulphite calibration curve must be performed concurrently using the same batch of reagents. To prepare the free sulfite single point standard, weigh one gram of citric acid into a one litre volumetric flask. Add distilled water and make to one litre. Mix the solution to dissolve the citric acid. Once the citric acid is dissolved, add 196 milligrams of sodium sulfite. Again, mix this solution to dissolve the sodium sulfide. This solution is the 100 mg per litre free sulfite standard and is used as directly in the assay as a single point standard in the manual assay procedure. Prepare this solution on the day of use. This is stable for one day at room temperature. To prepare the free sulfite calibration curve, weigh 1 gram of citric acid into a 1 litre volumetric flask. Then add distilled water and make to a total volume of 1 litre. Mix the solution to dissolve the citric acid. Once the citric acid is dissolved, add 295 milligrams of sodium sulfite. Again, mix the solution to dissolve the sodium sulfite.
This is the 150 milligrams per litre free sulphite solution and should be prepared on the day of use. This solution is stable for one day at room temperature. In order to prepare the free sulphite calibration curve, this requires this solution plus a solution of 0.1% citric acid. The 150 milligram per litre free sulphite solution and the 0.1% citric acid solution are used to prepare the individual free sulphite standards. The relevant volumes of each of these solutions used in the preparation of the individual standards is detailed in the following table. Each batch of samples requires a standard, which is either a single point standard or a full calibration curve using standard 0 through to standard 5 and a blank. To perform the assay, pipette 1 ml of distilled water into the sample cuvette. Pipette 1 ml of distilled water into the standard cuvette. And 1.05 ml of distilled water into the blank cuvette. After the addition of distilled water, add 1 ml of free sulphite reagent 1 to each of the cuvettes. Then add 0.05 millilitres of sample to the sample cuvette. And 0.05 millilitres of standard to the standard cuvette. Mix each solution, then exactly three minutes after the addition of sample or standard, take the absorbance reading of A1 of each solution. After reading absorbances A1 for each of the solutions, add 0.5 millilitres of free sulphite reagent 2 to each of the solutions. Mix each solution, then exactly three minutes after the addition of reagent 2, read the absorbance A2 for each solution. After reading absorbances A2 for each solution, mix each solution, then read absorbances A3 for each of the solutions exactly three minutes after reading A2. This third reading is required because the free sulphite test generates a creep reaction and this is accounted for in the calculation of results. Here we have examples of sample, standard and blank from the free sulphite test. Samples containing high levels of free sulphite will generate a high degree of colour development. In this case, the standard sample has a higher level of free sulphite than the sample and the blank and generates the highest degree of colour development. 
calculation of free sulfite content using the total and free sulfite kit is performed as described in the calculation sections in the kit booklet. Alternatively, use the MegaCalc application. To perform results analysis for free sulfite, open the free sulfite MegaCalc worksheet. First, input sample details of the experiment. Then input absorbance values A1, A2 and A3 for the blank samples. If a single point standard has been used, input absorbance values A1, A2 and A3. Alternatively, if a calibration curve has been used, input the relevant concentrations of the free sulfite standards, followed by the absorbance values. Input the sample identifiers for the test samples, followed by the absorbance values A1, A2 and A3. If any further dilution was applied to the samples prior to analysis, input the appropriate dilution factors. If no further dilution was applied, leave this value as 1. For liquid samples, results are automatically calculated in milligrams per litre. For solid samples, enter the original concentration at which the solid sample was dissolved or extracted in grams per litre prior to analysis. Once all data has been entered into the spreadsheet, the MegaCalc automatically calculates results. This can then be printed or saved electronically.